Welcome to RVing in New England, the nation's only forum that puts you on stage with some of the biggest names in the RV industry. And now your hosts, John DiPietro and Bob Zagami. That five second pause. Five second pause between what? Between the time you say Bob Zagami and John DiPietro. Let's go have to go up and down the slide on the right hand side and take off the logo and put over this and change that. You don't realize how hard I work on this side of the camera. I know it. And I just sit here and kind of do nothing. Just have to sit there and wait for something to pop up on the screen. Yep, exactly. Well, Speaking yeah. of popping up on the screen, why don't we tell our friends right away who is sponsoring our show tonight? Because without them, we have nothing. And don't do it. guess what? I know that our sponsor is Seacoast RVs. And I'll tell you this, they have a phenomenal camp store. So even if you don't need service on your unit and you're anywhere near Saco, Maine, go into the store. Because just like our guest tonight, Majors RV, down 100 and, I don't know, 100 miles away, they've got a great store as well. So uh, they've got Winnebago products, they've got Croft products, they've got Elevation products, and they have people that can answer your questions. Seacoast RV, Route 1, Saco, Maine. That's right. And I think I I let the cat out of the bag who our guest is, didn't I? Well, we we do put it on that little promo that goes out to millions of people every Wednesday morning. So most most people do know who our guest is. You know, she's got a lot to talk about. So maybe we should just jump right on because it's going to be a fun show. You're going to talk about all about the stuff that you want to put under the tree for your favorite uh, camper your friends that go camping your family members that go camping right but before we do that didn't we tease people last week about something that we wanted to talk about today or do we want to hold that to the end of the show and let people know because that is pretty exciting in itself why why, why don't you talk why don't you talk about it now in case they fall asleep during the show and they don't hear you or they leave they they leave they They leave they could do that they could do you that. Say, I already did my Christmas shopping. I don't want to listen to Jill anymore. Nobody yeah. would say that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, yeah, go ahead and make the big yeah, announcement. I don't think there's anybody I know that has, that has finished their Christmas shopping by any means. We, we can still say Christmas, right? Because even if we can't, we, we are. We can say whatever we want. Right. So we're going to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Now, here's what we're going to do. On Christmas Day, in fact, we, my wife and I, um, are packing up our Winnebago Navion and heading to Florida. And when we get to Florida, we're then heading out to Quartzsite, Arizona, along with 30 other RVers that we're picking up in Florida. And then when we get to Quartzsite, if I see Tony Barthel is with us, I hope you're still there, Tony. Uh, I don't know if you, he's probably not there yet, but we'll be meeting Tony out there. And um, there's going to okay. be another. Oh, holy Christmas. Look at all the people we got. You I know. Talk. We've got a you great show. Master Pedro. They've... We've got a great I show. Think, I think they want to see Jill more than they want to see you. Yeah, well, that's probably true. what happens when you get to Arizona. True. So get to Arizona, there'll be 200 more views and Navions. But more important than that, there will be about 200,000. That's right, folks. 200,000 RVers from all over the world that come and spend December, January, February, March in free camping at BLM lands. 
and Bureau of Land Management lands in the desert. And uh, I know we'll see Tony there. Tony's going to be in charge of, of all the seminars that are taking place during that week, during the Quartzsite RV show. So um, we're looking forward to that. We want to thank our sponsors. If without our sponsors, we have nothing. But we have Winnebago. We have Campers Inn. We have Go RV. We have Spacious Skies Campgrounds. We have Spot Tonight and RV Business in Woodall's Campground Magazine. And you're going to be reading all about it in Woodall's as we make our way across the country. So if anybody's done that cross-country trip, we are looking for suggestions. Um, we're not going to travel more than 300 miles a day. We're going to take 10 days to get from Florida to Arizona, a couple extra days in, in uh, New Orleans, a couple extra days in Texas, a couple extra days down in western Texas before we uh, head to the RV Mecca of the Southwest. So with that being said, and John will be reporting from the road every Wednesday. He'll be doing the show. He's not yeah. he's not taking time off from the show, but he's got a the wagon master for his caravan's got a nice startling system. He's going to let him use it, so we don't anticipate any hiccups there. But uh, I'll bring Bernie on once in a while, cover, get keep him keep him active in the show also. But imagine the, the people that John's going to be able to find on this trip. To talk about a million different things, whether it's Winnebago's or Navion's or supplies and accessories and things that they get, toys that they get on their units. It'll be crazy. Uh, I've, I've heard all about it. I hope it lives up to its hype. Tony is already there. And he said, we've got some great um, prizes to give away to the seminar people. So well, let's, let's, uh, let's run down quickly here to see uh, if we got Jerry. Jerry's in his number one slot there. I'll tell you. I think Jerry knows who our guest is. Well, it, I think he knows a little bit about it. He wants to, right. he'll add to the conversation, that's for sure. Uh, Dante's down here, yeah, in Florida. Walter, oh, Walter, thanks for joining. You and Donna must be tired out. You've been at Disney World all, you're going all, what do they call it? Theme park hopping or something, hopping all around down there. And Attraction hopping. Hosting, uh, no, I think he's just doing park hopping and right. getting good meals and what have you. Jim Roy, hello from the snowy woods of Maine. And Tony is in the land of enchantment. Dante says, cold here in Florida, 57. See, I wasn't lying to you guys. I told you it was 60 over here today. But I still have my shorts and T-shirt on, guys, so it doesn't, doesn't affect me. Uh, Jim and Susan are in Summerfield, Florida. They're down already. They're on the road. Um, Don down in Texas. Hello, Don. And Jim Conboy, New, Convoy, New England Roof. Jim Keenan's on also. They must be at two different ends of the motorhome. Uh, or one's in the tow vehicle and one's in the motorhome. Uh, who else we got there? Audrey Foley Egan, our great guest from last week. Tell us all about her trip. Special thanks to Audrey for um, being such a great statistician. Oh, yeah. What amazing stats. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Ryan. Good evening, guys. He's got, getting his kids all set for Christmas. Christmas music. John can sing for us. Yeah, I got to I got to do better on my music selections. Those those clips suck. Uh, ah. Christmas shopping is done. Well, look at this, will you, Jim Roy? Someone's having. I haven't started Christmas shopping. I don't know do that. Tony, yes, I am. Looking forward to seeing you. Well, you won't. After a day or two, you'll be wishing he's back in Massachusetts, Tony. So you better you better watch out. Freezing Florida. Tim says freezing Florida. All right. Um, did I miss getting on this? Did I miss getting in on this? Well, you may have missed John's trip to Quartzsite. That you may have missed that. Leaving next week. Walter says, talking sometime with Donna before I head back north on Monday. Taking take, some time take with Donna. Time. Oh, Donna staying? Um, no, I no. Take no. No, he's just taking a couple of days off with Donna because he worked so hard. Right. Before I uh, head back yeah. north on Monday. He didn't say we head back. Oh, yeah. No, well, maybe. Maybe she's staying down there. Walter, she's staying there. I don't know. So we'll find out. Enough. We'll find out. You want to you introduce our guest? I do want to introduce our guest because I had the the pleasure of speaking with her on my last trip down to Majors just a week or so ago. And um I said Jill, show me some Christmas items. And 
we did a video that's got thousands of views and everybody says, oh, I want one of those. I want one of those. I wonder if they have that in my size. See, Donna is staying in Florida. Yep. So um, without further ado, you'll see her at the Boston show this year. She's back and um, she is part of the Jill and Jeff show at Majors RV. Say hi to Jill Slater. Jill, welcome. Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome Ooh. to Ooh. RV in New England. Yeah. Yes. You want to sing a, a little Jingle Bells or just... Jingle Bells. Just, yeah. Jingle Bells. All yeah. right, not tonight. <laughs> oh, Jill, if you, if you have one of your character, one of your uh, fur babies with you that wants to put his nose up onto the camera. Yeah. You want to come here? Hey, come Addie, Addie May is with us. Now, Addie May is only with us because Jill is on. She, she is not on for John and Bob because she... She only comes on with some guests that she likes. You should be more of a regular Eddie. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan says, hi, Jill. Oh, here we go. Hello. We're going to have a million side conversations. Very it's very very the government, it looks like they don't need us. Why don't, I just, Jill, why don't you just take over the damn show? Yeah, why don't we just take... This is the Cooper. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> with... The... <laughs> So one of them, yes, making his appearance. Okay. Uh, I see. <laughs> so anyway. Yes. So we wanted you to come on and talk about what's hot in the store and what are people buying for their RV friends and, and family members. Themselves. Uh, and themselves. And themselves, yes. But before we do that, let me do this because... This is for the people who have never been to the store that you, I want you to get a scope of what it is. And John was down the other day and he's got a new toy, a 360 camera and check. Let me see, I'm going to put us, put all of us down. Then I'm going to put the movie up because it will show against us. Boom. <laughs> Guess what? That's only half the store. That is only half the store. And it was an awesome, awesome video, John. Great you know, job. Great. You think John's just another pretty face. He actually has some quite some nice talent there. I mean, that, that's yes. a, that's but an incredible video. The thing is, that's but, the that's the non-fun side of the store. That's the part that with, is true. With the bolts and the nuts and the screws and the and the, <laughs> the chemical, springs the chemicals. <laughs> Bill's gonna tell us what's going on in the other side of the store with cool stuff like sweaters and t-shirts yes. and baseball caps. And I and should have brought some t-shirts and hats, but I did not bring, but I did bring a few things to show like one of them being a let it snow kitchen towel. Kitchen. Towel. I thought that was one of the cool things. And I've got also the squishy, squishy pillow. I bet I bet the dogs would like something like that. <laughs> My and, dogs would rip it apart in three seconds. <laughs> John, John's grandkids would like it. And really cool this year, we've got. If you want to do some marshmallows, there's cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip, which is so delectable. This is going into a couple of, I know Cooper wants some, into a couple of uh, <laughs> presents, I think, this year. Is, is that a special brand of marshmallows, Jill? Or? Yes, it is. It's Creekside Mallow. I forgot to send you information on it. <laughs> I forgot that's one of the things I grabbed. I know, Cooper, you can't have any. <laughs> well, is it a gourmet? It must be a gourmet marshmallow or something. It's not 
It doesn't look like that bag full of white marshmallows. No, because um, this one is cookies and cream. Yeah. So each one, it, it's got a mixture that makes it taste like cookies and cream. And I'm sure on ice cream, it would taste really good too, but they melt really, really well. And how do they, how do I've do, done... How do they do with s'mores? Oh, I done the mint chocolate chip. And it's so good. Oh. It's so, so good. Yes. It's like, it's heaven. <laughs> it took me a couple of weeks because I didn't want to eat them all at once. Well, that, that'd, be good, that'd be good stocking stuffer. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Yes. So, yeah, I think there's a couple people that are going to get that. And if you don't have a bag to put all your fun stuff in, we've got this fun animal bag. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's a, all those animals come in that bag. That's amazing. You can fit that moose. I know. There. And guess yeah. what? Imagine that with a clear window on it, too, that, so that you can see the animals. That's the groceries cool. will be safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> the other interesting thing that, that minor, minor, minor drop in the bucket of, of the cool stuff that's available at majors. And I'll tell yes. you this folks, and they're not a sponsor, so they're not paying, paying us to say this, but you'll see some things tonight that you say, geez, that's interesting, but you need to really do yourself a favor. And anybody who's been to majors, I'm sure will, will agree with me on this. You need to just go there and experience the store because it is so light years apart from any store that you would, you know, see at a campground or, or even at a dealer, because um, they've got everything from from the brakes, you know, the calipers for the brakes for for your, you know, the spring hinges and all that other stuff, to the cool stuff. Um, yeah. By the store, so do yourself a favor, get on down there and um, you know go down the cape, see some other stuff. What is that? <laughs> it is a personal fan. A personal. What it says. More <laughs> love. Of course, I got to turn it off because my dogs are about to bark. Oh. <laughs> more love. <laughs> s'more love. Whatever. Speaking of s'mores. Well, let, let's let's do this because we're we're getting into show season. Yes. So, and I want I want the audience to participate a lot. So we've just told you they sell everything at majors: grills, charcoal, furniture refrigerators, all the little toys. Up. If anybody can post something that they do not sell at Majors RV in the store, in the parts and accessory store, and includes, includes the parts that you get there. <coughs> if you can guess, and, and I won't, no, we won't do parts. It'll be accessories and, and gift type stuff. Yeah. So, way, way to play on this one out ahead of time, Bob, before you said no, it. No, no, just to, <laughs> way, way last, it was that last sip of Jack Daniels. I got this great idea. I, I, I think it was the last bottle of Jack Daniels. I, I, should, I th should give away a couple of tickets. So if uh, we'll follow the comments. Tickets to what? Two tickets to the Boston RV and Camping oh, Expo. Oh, okay. Because we're getting ready for the Expo January yeah. 20, 25th through 28th. Yeah. So if you can stump Jill. With something that she does not sell at Majors Army. And John is right. You, you have to go down there to experience it, and and just don't yeah. set a time. Just don't set a time limit on it. Yeah, yeah. And not and just the stuff that we sell. All the campers that David has collected over the years, of all his journeys, Bratwurst. all the old old campers on the walls. Yeah, Bratwurst. You so, oh, see, see, usually Jerry. Now, Jerry Plant, you're oh, not. Jerry has recused himself. I, I, now, <laughs> that is a classy guy because I was just going to recuse him myself. I, I recuse him. I was just going to say, you know, you're not eligible for it. But, uh, and Addie, okay. I, I don't, yeah, we can't let Addie, Addie do that. Yeah, we're going to have to recuse you too, Addie. Not true. It, it's a bonus. You have one of my favorite. We love Addie. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves Addie. Yeah. Okay, look what Audrey says. And Cooper says, Merry Christmas, Audrey. <laughs> All right, Don, great, great talent. Great talent on John. He's talking about your video. Yeah, he didn't trip. Yeah. 
my dog would shred that. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a good idea. See, now that's the difference in pets. Though. My dog wouldn't shred it. He, he, he would just lay on it. You know, he's, he's yeah. on, on a comfortable bed right now. Oh, yeah. My two would say, let's play tug of war. Great store and even better staffing. You're right. The staff <laughs> Thank you, Addy. is amazing. You know, it, what it reminds me of is is the old, you know, hometown store where you know everybody. You have stop in and have coffee. And I, I bet you have people that just come in the morning for coffee, not necessarily to buy anything. They're just on their way to work, going to stop and say hello or talk RV, and they'll come in, see Jeff at the counter and bring you some donuts. And you know, Yeah, we do, do have a few people stuff. once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're in there. It's Jeff eats all yeah. the donuts. Yeah, Don says a <laughs> is a great walk around, something for everybody. Yeah, it's great exercise. That's right. Yeah, did you ever? You know, that, that's a good point, uh, Jerry. Uh, no, that was uh, Don. Uh, do you and Jeff ever measure how many steps you take a day when you're actually at the store? I actually was wearing a Fitbit most of the summer and I was doing over 10,000 steps. Wow. Wow. And, and Jeff was like, yeah, no, I know I do that many. <laughs> so yeah, I know he does a whole lot more than I do probably some days. Susan include plane fare. Yeah. So by that, I assume Susan and Jim will not wait a minute. Isn't Jim coming home? Isn't Jim going to work the show for Pete's this year? The Boston show. Or is he gonna, he's going to leave you in Florida. I don't know. Let me know. All right. Bernie Culleton, Bratwurst. Bernie, you're not going to get any tickets either. You're going to be working the show. But did you? Yeah. Did no, you Billy, uh, Bernie, as long as he doesn't try to scalp them outside the building for five bucks less than they paid right. for. <laughs> well, no, Bernie knows he can call me up and get tickets anytime he wants. Uh, looking for a porcelain toilet seat to replace the crappy plastic seat in my rig. Well, why don't you just sell her on replacing the plastic toilet with a Porcelain toilet, Joe. No, no, no. I think it is a porcelain toilet, but it's got a plastic seat. Yeah. I was going to say, you don't want a porcelain seat. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, why would somebody... But it, yeah, we do have, if uh, you have a Dometic Sealand 300 series, we do have a replacement seat in cover in stock. But it's a slow close lid. But it's not a... Oh, uh, slow close lid. Porcelain seat. Yeah. yeah, but it's not a porcelain seat, is it? No, you don't want a porcelain seat. <laughs> By the, the chill factor? <laughs> oh, well, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. The chill factor. I, I don't want it to break on me either. Right, right, right. Well, Audrey, you brought up a topic that is going to be the topic of the. All of right. The yeah. Where world. would you find a flex capacitor? Well, no, uh, Ryan, I don't know what the hell one is. No, I said the, the parts, parts don't count. I'm talking about the, the consumer items on the uh, on the shopping side. I know they got. Pots off on the back wall, but I'm not. I'm not going to. And plus, I'm not going to give you tickets either. You're in the show. You're doing technical seminars, and you'll have your display booth for TRC Mobile Services. So if you haven't yet met Mar uh, Ryan and Amy, they'll have a booth and come to one of Ryan's uh, Ryan's seminars and do that. So when people walk in, do do, do people actually come in with a shopping list, Jill, like they do when they go yeah. to the, the supermarket? Yes. Really? They do. Oh. <laughs> They'll stand there and be like, all right, can you help me find? I'm like, yes. Oh, and we'll point out a few things on the way. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Take one of those baskets out. <laughs> yes. But Bob, Actually, the thing that, we usually try to suggest a cart. The, the thing that's even more amazing when they walk into the store and, you know, they've got a southern accent or they've got a unit outside with a Virginia plate or a South Carolina plate and it's parked over in the lot. And they come in with their tail tucked between their legs and say, you know, when can you look at my unit? And they say, right now. And then I have seen couples that that just almost move to tears because what majors does, <coughs> because they're in a, <coughs> excuse me, a major tourist area, they realize there's a lot of people that are coming to that area that aren't from the area. And the last thing they want to hear when they go into a dealership or any kind of service area is come back in three months, two weeks, in one day, and we might be able to squeeze you in. 
That's not what an RVer wants to hear when they're thousands of miles away from home. And um, you know what? So yeah, yeah. If we can we're... accommodate, I know our service department will try. Yep. And it's it's <coughs> not a small store either. It's a big store. That that's all the frontage of the store itself. The service is a couple of service bays behind that <coughs> building. Couple of service bays. And there's another building with several service bays in it. But that's that's the parts and accessory store. And in fact, it's so big. The, the door under the re-sign is the entry door, and they actually have a separate exit door just to the left, the, the left wall that you can't see. They have that that's there also. Yes. You know, there were some pictures that you sent along today, Jill. Let's, let's just show a couple of them. Seeing that I have my Jack Daniels, you do, in fact, have. Yes. So those... They are called whiskey tumblers. Yeah. I saw those and I thought of you. Well, yeah, but see, I, yeah, but the, the difference is, see, I, I've got my Jack Daniels, and it says Jack Daniels right on it, so you you, you don't have that. So no. I could give myself a say- please. You, you, can't, you cannot buy a Jack Daniels whiskey glass at Major's RV. No, unfortunately. But, but Tagami, at this stage of your life, what? the Jack Daniels logo is emblazoned in your insides. It's etched on the glass. What? what? Oh, you mean the stomach. inside of my the inside of my stomach? Your body, yes. Could I check? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that um, this oh, Addie's on. So this is a Lippert product. Tell talk talk to us about that. It is a made of bam- the top is bamboo, the rest of it is aluminum, and it is a bifold table. Folds up very neatly, easy to put together, quick, easy. Love it. It's very sturdy. And yeah, it looks like it would fold up very small. Yes, it does. It's probably about three to four inches thick, and probably. I forgot how big it is. <laughs> Addie probably would know better than me. Yeah, Addie, Addie spread out, spread out the specifications. Yeah, here. it's a no. little bit wider than like a folding table, card table. I don't know what you guys can see in your thing, but you got ketchup and mustard there. I don't see a damn hot dog on that plate. I don't, I don't no, it's getting ready. Hamburger are gone, right? Oh, they've already eaten it. And there's no Jack Daniels in the glass either. So. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie, maybe you could improve your product displays next time you go down to see Jill and you know enhance that one a little bit. <laughs> I, I, if we put a Jack Daniels on a yeah. in a glass on, it'd be gone. Yeah, Let, let's let's uh, talk let's talk some serious stuff because <laughs> you have a lot of fun stuff. Yes, this is probably one of the most popular items for RVs today. So tell us all about that and. We actually have two. We have the 50 watt and the 30 watt. 50 to the 30, yep. Power watchdog, um, <clears throat> excuse me, surge protector that it will help diagnose and make sure that the pedestal is completely safe to plug in before you plug your RV in. So you, you plug that into the pedestal first. Correct. And, and it gives you kind of a rundown the readings diagnostic. And if it's safe or not, right? Yes. So you don't get a hot skin environment or get something wired the right. You know, when you when you talk to people and Jerry Plant, I'm sure will jump on here. Uh, what percentage of people truly understand the importance of electricity and the pedestals and, and checking the pedestals? Because these are very popular, but certainly not enough people still are using them. Yeah, it's amazing that so many years ago you would hardly sell very many surge protectors, but in the last 10, 12, maybe 15 years, it actually has risen up in the amount of how many people actually get them and they understand they're like, I could lose my RV. Right. Yeah. I could lose my appliances yeah. and the whole thing. And right. you could lose your life if you go to sleep and, and the place burns correct. down. Correct. Yes. And, yep. Uh, let, me just, let me just see if... Uh, Anybody jumped on that? Uh, <laughs> I just went right. today. It took a Not surge. Today, it took a surge. Wow. Yeah. Yep. 
Before we surge any further, Bob, why don't we surge? There's, 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 a, there's a responsive rat. She says, you yes, got it. Addie's so, good. So she's going to clean that. Addie's great. Yeah. Love to have her on the show. Bob, before you put the next product up there, why don't we get in the car and drive 150 miles up into the coast of Maine and uh, look we, at what our friends we at. Could, we could do that. Boo. Bingo, you're in Maine. Seacoast RV, just like that. Okay. Number one elevation park model dealer in the entire United States. Number one crop mark park model dealer in the United States. And let me tell you, folks, when Bob and I have been out to Elkhart to visit these factories, there are dealerships from throughout the United States and I believe in Canada that um, buy from these companies. And to have one dealer be the number one dealer for both of those companies is certainly a um, an honor. And it's good for us in New England because that means they have parts, that means they have um, the latest models are always coming through because they turned their inventory over so fast. And now they've got enhanced Winnebago product line with both towables as well as drivables. So with that being said, um, for your Christmas shopping, stop in at the store, the store, not the store, but the store at Seacoast RV. Yeah, and Addie, Addie's doing her homework. She, she's going to give uh, Swenson a... She's going to give Swenson some competition for going out there and digging out all the facts and every thirty-nine by twenty. How much? How much weight does it hold, Addie? It looks. It looks pretty sturdy. Would it hold the twenty-pound? Sturdy. Yeah. Hold the twenty-pound turkey on Thanksgiving Day. Or? Almost definitely. Definitely. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> right, so Ryan says that that trailer had no protection. Audrey says you need them to take care of your pets when you're not there. That's true. Correct. To let you know, yeah. Uh, you That'll hold 80 pounds. Here we go. The master has, has weighed in. The great feature of the auto former is that it has a replaceable board so you don't have to buy the whole thing. Oh, that's true. I forgot about that part. Jerry's go. good like that. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry knows that stuff inside out and backwards. Yeah. Yes, he does. Don says probably the most important thing for your IV. Wow. Yes. You know, and, and Ryan, again, Ryan has already given us an example, but I think electrical, because unless you, you don't notice it unless there's a problem, okay? When you use your, you know, your surge protector and that type of thing, unless there's a problem, you, you kind of take it for granted, which is good. But for those folks that say, oh, I can plug in, especially people that are boondocking and don't know the source of that power. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're going to see some people come here. heading out west that are going to, you know, have some units that look like they were. So Jerry, Jerry's got a great point. And this is this is what I used to be like when I when I go into the store and after they get everything on the list, they walk around looking for things they don't know they need it. I, I, do, I do that in the supermarket every week. And I, could, I could do it in a parts and accessory store just as well. Oh, looks like Audrey has a theft. For, I don't know if yeah. you got time to switch over. Isn't time, yeah? <laughs> Put the whole damn thing out and buy a new toilet. Well, you, yes. Uh, you know, you yeah, just spent what? Serve it, right? It we year. went from a Thetford to a Sealand, and it's amazing the difference. There you go. You'll okay. never be constipated again. Do your thirty. <laughs> sec, do your thirty second sales pitch for Dometic on the uh, Sealander. Go. Oh, do a thirty second. Buy a three ten. Porcelain toilet. It's 18 inches high at the top of the seat. It has a seal at the bottom of the bowl that you don't have to remove the whole toilet. All you have to do is press down on the lever and pull out the seal if you have to clean it, if you have to replace it. And I think it's running around $350. I think that's what it is right now. Yep. Yeah, we got Lots good stuff on all of them. Yeah, a lot cheaper than a household to toilet. Yes. Yeah. Yep. But works the same way. Correct. And let me tell you, folks, when you're on the road in a car and you have to use those public bathrooms at rest areas and gas stations, it's worth the price of admission just to own an RV for that 
particular purpose. And I'm sure yeah. our audience that that is with us tonight. I mean, so many times when when Bob and I have to fly out to Elkhart or or to Tampa for a show during times when it's not RV season, we say the baloney that you put up with on airplanes and the check in at airplanes and that type of thing. It's just insane. So anyway, Jim Roy, the Dometic 310 is our toilet of choice to install in our builds. OK, Jim Roy, toilet of Good. choice. OK, that's so, our toilet of choice, too. Yep. At majors. Yep. 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 His, yeah. 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 His, his is something fun. Yes. Yeah. Tiki tunes. What is it? It I should have brought the one we have at the store. Nobody um, knows, but it sure looks good. It Yeah, it looks like a flame is burning. In fact, I left my well, left the one we have at work plugged in at my computer and kind of tucked it under so the police wouldn't be like, oh, there's a fire. Because um, when we left on Saturday, it was still going because it has a timer. Well, I guess by it being plugged in, it's on all weekend. So, so it made the guys speaker. nervous when they came in. They thought uh, there was a fire. Is it a speaker or is it, or is it a radio or a tuner? It or? is a um, Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth speaker, okay. Yes, yep. And you can set it on the table, and it looks like it's on got a flame inside of it. And... Does the color change on the flame, or is there only one? No, color? it's just the orange and the color of a flame: orange, red, yellow. So it looks like one of those can. What are, the, what are they call those candles? Uh, candles. No, the mosquito candles. What the hell do they call those things? Oh, the uh, yeah. The yeah citronella. Citronella. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A little bit more realistic than that. Yeah. Now, when when you go in the store, you have all this I, this was on john's other video those are all your employees so do you yes. fill, do you fill them before the holiday comes and give them some nice little stuff no unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> they just kind of hang uh, <laughs> all right now I, now I got a question for you does does this what does this next one come in a jack daniels version we could probably find one in a Jack Daniels version. <laughs> change the bottle, Bob. That's all you Yeah, do. just change the bottle. That's just an old bottle I had. Well, that's true. We could do that. Yeah. Yeah. As long well, as it fits in his mouth and between his paws. <laughs> that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, Susan Keenan asks, do you sell thermo cells? They work really well. They, they're fantastic. You, you must have those. We do not. <gasps> oh, no. I they're... haven't seen any one stocking them. They're for my you distributors. You gotta check them out. They've got everything. They got the wipes, they got the uh containers. I I used to use them all the time up in Maine, but that that is a good product. Uh that's something that you might want to look. All right, Susan, I'll give you two tickets to the show, but let me see what you Good said. Good job. About, what, I said, but what did I say about you? I'll tell you, I'm going to give those to you anyway, Susan, because you're a nice lady, and then you can give them to some of your friends back home what if you're not you? coming up. But she did something. Uh, her husband's coming up to the show. That's, what, that's what I thought I saw. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, two tickets to Jim Keenan. Yeah. So, so far, we've given out tickets to everybody who works there. Yeah. <laughs> This show is going down the toilet. Now look at Jim Keenan. You know, just when I was, I was getting ready to tell everybody how nice a guy you were and how long you've been selling all RVs to all these good people and you got your own little fan club and everything and then you you take a shot at us like that. That's terrible. But didn't see that. Anyway. Oh, that's uh, Jim said the same thing. That's that's what he puts in. Going down the toilet. Okay. Dude. Tiki Tunes, I need this. There you go. All right, get yourself down to uh, Bourne, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. hey, we're taking a couple of swipes tonight. All Bob has is empty JD bottles. God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea, John. They're, they're taking a, a few a few shots at us. We're going <laughs> to have to charge more. We're going to have to charge more for the yeah, show. This was another aisle that John went down with. Yes, like the whole stuff for the kids to put in their stockings. Yeah, we're, 
Where'd you get this? Was this the other video that I did with Jill and you're taking freeze frames? Yeah. Why don't, in fact, why don't we take a break and show that? Because it will give another view of uh, what the store is like and more of a... I think everyone will agree that life is better at the campsite. And in order for you to get a shirt like that, you have to come to Major's RV because the stockings have already been hung. With lots and lots of care. With lots and lots of care yes. and... Hello, everybody. Jill, it's um, Christmas time. It we is. can say Christmas, right? We can say Christmas. We can say Christmas. That's what we say here is Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas. So this is the yes. time of year when people buy gifts. Correct. You know, not necessarily break jobs <laughs> or oil changes, but... They want the fun stuff. Fun stuff. Let's yeah. see what we got for fun We've here. got all kinds of fun stuff. We've got... Some funny little towel, beach towel, so you want to get someone going. Okay. We've got fun t-shirts for those people that have the camp hair. Oh, camp hair. Oh, uh, okay. They just don't care. Okay. <laughs> we've also got, we've got a few different t-shirts if people want t-shirts. And there's the larger version of that. Sweatshirt, yeah. Sweatshirt. Okay, and t-shirts as well. And t-shirts and hats. For those that are going to Florida. Correct. We also have... I think this is a fun thing. It's a Bluetooth speaker that has a little bit of a flame like Look at that. to it. So it's a speaker. It's a speaker, yes. And it's uh, USB powered that you. Correct. I mean, you recharge it with that. Correct. Right? Yep. Okay. And you it just will run for hours on that LED light going. Set yes. up your phone. Yes. Okay, all We've these cool got, stuff. We have all kinds of different stuff. We've got your wine bottle holder. Wine bottle holder, which yes. just happens to have a drunk bear. Oh, yeah. He's pretty drunk, all okay. right. He's... We have a bear pillow. We even have some stoppers for your wine bottles. Look at that. Some, we have mugs. We have all kinds of, like, towels. We have... Yeah, you don't want this when you're driving your RV. <laughs> no. no. No, that's when it's put away for a period of time. Correct. Or okay. just overnight. Or Yeah, right. Yes. Exactly. You yes. get toys for every... All kinds of little things every for occasion. stocking stuffers. Every or occasion. Or if you do your fun Christmas games. And you've got the decorations are up, as we yes. saw when we came in. They have been up for two weeks now. Oh, wow. You even yes. beat Thanksgiving. I did. So, I um, did. you know what? People can stop down at Majors RV. Tell us where we're located. We are Majors RV, 150 MacArthur Boulevard in Bourne. Half Just, a mile over the Bourne Bridge. And let's, let's be perfectly yes. clear now. The construction is over for a construction while. Construction has been over, and it's glorious traffic. Okay. We just yes. we buzzed right it. over with no issue at all. Yes. And um, you know what? Um I think people will be happy to come here because look at I mean listen you can even hear the hear the music in the background. Yes. And our friend good. the monkey is here. Yes. Look at him going we backwards. Happy George. Happy George. There's George. Look at you. It's worth a trip down here just to see George. It is. Because right now it looks like George is just floating in the air. And come down have some yeah. have some eggnog before you come down with a little bit of stuff in it. And when you see George <laughs> he'll uh He'll be the coolest thing. Yes. So, Jill, we want to thank you so much for taking time from your My day. My pleasure. I see the uh, parking. Look, at the parking lot is filled because everybody is in the back with David giving Having a their seminar. Solar seminar. What's the topic today? It is solar battery seminar. Solar yes. battery seminar. Yes. Okay. Majors yeah. RV. Stop in for Christmas gifts for every member Sounds of your like RV planning. family. <laughs> yes. I think everyone will agree that life is... Through that, and let me just... Find the other. Oh, there we go. Take that off. There we go. Uh, We're all back. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that at the very back of the store, you had a million different chairs. Are those popular around Christmas time too? They can be. Yeah, more closer to the twenty fifth than beginning of December. But you, do, all right. you, you do a big business with them at the Boston Show. Though. You always have yes. several. Yeah, well, we bring as many as we can. That's I haven't done a time out in a while. No, the, the only reason she brings them, John, is so Jeff can take a nap during the show. <laughs> Product testing and development. <laughs> let, let, me, let me tell you one thing about those chairs, okay? Um, from a distance, all chairs kind of look alike, you know? And you can go into discount, ultra discount stores and get them for seven or eight bucks. Okay. <laughs> 
And if you weigh over 90 pounds, they ain't going to hold you. Okay. Um, and if you take a, fl I, I've seen people have the chairs collapse right while they're sitting in them. But these chairs, I know, Jill, um, we demonstrated one last year that has the rocker in it. Yes, that's uh, our best seller. You know, um, if you're going to buy a chair, buy a good chair. Um, but the cheap ones that you get at the ultra discount stores, I'm not going to mention names, um, they're going to last one or two camping outings and then you throw them out. Um, but the good ones um, will last. And that is something to really keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a good supply of chairs. Part of camping. Right. And the older you get, the more time you spend sitting in the gym, sitting in the chair. <laughs> and rocking. And rocking. <laughs> Get what you pay for. Don't forget. Oh, the, don't forget the gift certificates. Oh, yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. We got, we have a director off camp off site here. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget uh, gift certificates. This year we are giving away uh, free mugs. This is one of the designs for every fifty dollars you get a free mug. Wow. Yeah. So if you get a do a hundred dollar gift certificate, you get two. And if you do four gift certificates, you get four. Or fifty dollars worth. Yeah, fifty dollars certificate. Yeah. yeah. Is that is that a metal cup or is that a, a porcelain cup? Ceramic. Ceramic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Not the cheap plastic stuff. No. no. Look look at the people that we've got here. Ryan wants to know if their booth can be next to his, which it probably was last year or two years ago. No, I can, um, I can, I can, I can arrange for that, Ryan. That's that, that's an easy request. Yeah. Audrey arrange. for Audrey says chairs are an important part of camping. Has to be right for each person's comfort, and each person's rear end. Okay, and look at what Tony did. You See, go Tony, back to the rear end again. You were trying to, you know, you were concerned about that with the toilet. Now you're concerned about well, it. Places. You know what? It's when Probably. you spend a lot of time there. It's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what the Tony? Tony, get the Tonys there, Bob. What what time? Uh, seven forty-seven. Seven forty-seven. Is it that late already? Yes, oh. sir. Seven time flies when you're having fun. Seven forty-seven. Jesus. What the hell is it? This, there are plain ones fast. So many comments. Oh. <laughs> this one. That, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh. <laughs> So were you were you a stand-up comic at one point in your career? I know you were a hell of an ivory salesperson, but uh, were you a stand-up comic at some point? Or oh, no. a frustrated one that thought you should have been? Can they can the they said, go stand out in the hallway? I think that's what oh, no, she said. Ryan, Ryan, you got it backwards, Ryan. Their booth is always where they want it. So if you want to be next to them, we have to move your booth to them. We are not going to move the major's RV booth down to where you are. See, you're you're in the low rent district. She, she's in the the high rent district. She's <laughs> in the primary spot. Now, because I'm a nice guy, I'll move you down next to her, and that'll be good. Because then, when if something gets really technical, they can just reach over to you and say, "Let let Brian or uh, Ryan or, or Amy answer the question." So we'll, I'll look at that. I got to look at that floor plan tomorrow. Um, Dante says, "What is?" What's their website address? Jill, give them, give them all the credentials. Majorsrv.com. Quick and easy. It's real. It's really, you want to yep. write that down, Dante? You want to get a pencil and write that down? Just so and you know. And we have our virtual store on there. Yeah. Seven week trip. Seats are important. That's, there you go. They go right back. Audrey says the seats are important because you're there taking. There you go, Jerry. Look at that. Jerry doesn't skip a beat. No, so he doesn't. Dante asks a question and bingo, up comes it. Uh, I'll go, <laughs> right? So I'll go with them. Yeah, that <laughs> right. You you will you will indeed. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything <laughs> that we had. Oh, you talked about George before. Now he's he's isn't he's not always in the same place, right? Don't no, you, he was back and forth. He goes no no I, on the wire, but don't you move that wire around to different parts of the store? No, it was always there. Always there in the same spot. Okay. Notice that awning reel in the background. See if you're observant guest tonight. Is <laughs> how do you, now I don't think there's too many people that give awnings for gifts though at Christmas time though, do they? No. <laughs> I've right. never seen one given. Yeah. 
But Jill, I brought myself a um, a fogger. What was that thing you sold to me? The fogger thing about the mosquitoes? Oh yes, the chlorine dioxide. Right. Right. Yes. What does it do? It um, if you've got mold, mildew, bacteria in your camper or in um, even a small room at your house or garage or shed or yeah. a car even, um, you set this off and it creates chlorine dioxide gas, which will kill the mold, the mildew, um, take care of all that bacteria. Yep. Uh, you got a couple of other things that are really good for stocking stuff is also mm -hmm. you got the uh, rodent. Uh, yeah, the rodent, rodent repellent. And then yep. you also the dehumidifier thing. Talk about those because those are great stocking kits. Uh, the um, fresh cab, which is for the mouse pouches. Yeah. Um, smells like Christmas trees, so it's perfect for giving as a gift at Christmas time. What are, there what are, are, what are they? It smells like Christmas trees. Oh, it smells oh. Yeah, really? balsam fir extract. Oh. Yeah. So there's four pouches in each box. Yeah. And you put it in the camper to keep those little critters yeah. away. Because <laughs> we don't I, want those in there. I, I've seen people, mostly full-timers, that, that put a Christmas tree up in the uh, RV. Um, it takes up a lot of space, but uh, if you're traveling. Yeah. You're you're, yeah. Yeah. Dude, now do you, sell, do, you, do you sell RV Christmas trees? No. Oh, there's another. I, I'll give myself two tidbits. There you go. Yeah, yeah. We we'll do it. Are, you, are your grandkids playing in the background, John? I'm trying to get them over here to say hello. Geneva, come here, honey. Come here, say hi to our audience. She had don't, it all rehearsed. Don't hide. I, I, <laughs> they weren't making noise. They were too quiet. Well, yeah. I, I, I come over here. here. I didn't know that. Hi to everyone. Hello. 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 Don't know what your name is. No, no, no. That's different. Here, say hi. Mm -hmm. Tell me you hi. love. Tell me you love going camping with me, in Nana. I do. Where do we go? Everywhere. We go to the. Where did we go last time? South Carolina. South Carolina. South so, Carolina. she said South Carolina. We we put him in the motorhome about three weeks ago. And went down to um, Mohegan Sun. And my older granddaughter said it was South Carolina. So the whole time, she still thinks we went to South Carolina in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how was that trip to South Carolina? Good. Good. She enjoyed it. <laughs> she enjoyed it. That's but priceless. You are mean. Man, oh, man. Crazy. It was only, two, only a two-hour ride. I didn't know they had a Pepe's Pizza place down in South Carolina. No, but she didn't either. <laughs> That's the good part. I've got about two more years with her. She's she's smarter than a whip. Yeah. And, uh, you know what? With grandkids, you can only you can only pull the wool over their eyes for a certain certain amount of time. Ryan, you're probably seeing that with your own kids. You can't pull the wool over their eyes anymore, right? And um, who else do we have here? That like Audrey. Audrey brought her two grandkids with her on that five-week trip, um, probably in the easiest way possible. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, so, Jill, we want to thank you so much for being with us. Um, it's, always a, it's always a fun trip to majors, and I stop in even when I'm just going down to the Cape. To, I mean, I stopped yeah, in last we week. week and a half ago. We were just going to check our house out and um, – down there and said, Oh, let's go over and see what their see what ideas there are. And I knew there was something I had to buy because a couple of years ago when I was down in Florida, they had this uh, moisturizer stuff that uh, keeps the mold and mildew down. It was different than this one. That other one was a slow release thing. Um, but this was one, this was the bomb that you put in it and then you get out. Yes. Yep. Come back a day later. Yeah. Jill, do you have any special hours around the holidays at all that we should let everybody know about? We are basically just going to be closed on Christmas and the Tuesday after Christmas and then New Year's Day and the day after the Tuesday. So the 25th and 26th and 1st and 2nd. You're also closed on Sunday, so. But yes, of course, yeah. So, 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 on so, so the Christmas should be closed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Correct, and, yeah. And, and New Year's. 
And New Year's. Yep, three day weekends, both over Christmas and over New Year's. Christmas is a Sunday, right? Monday. No, Monday. Monday. Oh, it is a Monday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then next year, leap year. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. It'll be uh, on a Wednesday. Oh. <laughs> next year. <laughs> oh. oh wow. That'd be crazy fun. All right. Jill, well, thank, thank you very you. much for inviting me. I had Always a blast. A pleasure and uh, hopefully everybody will get down there. And Addie, Addie will be down in a couple of days to outfit that table. <laughs> I'll show. take a picture for you. Yeah. You go, go on the way, Addie, but go buy a fake hamburger or something. Hey, at, <laughs> John Hawes, where is NRVTA? Where, what, what town at, is it in? Athens, Texas. Okay, where is it near? Is it near Houston or Dallas? Um, I think it's, I think it's closer to Houston. Maybe, maybe it is. Yeah, it's you closer to ten, to ten or twenty, Don. He had to go to. He had to take a phone call. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Athens, Texas. Anybody know Walter? Are you there? Look up Athens, Texas. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, this is the only show that you can. But it's not that close to either Dallas or Houston. But okay, it's seventy-five miles south. Seventy-five of miles southeast of Dallas. Well, maybe we'll stop by on the way back. Yeah, on your when you're on your time. All right, <laughs> let's way back. close it out with our uh, commercial and our tune, and we'll see you folks next week. Give us a little commercial, John, and I'll get into the closing number. We'll see you next week, and be safe, and see you down the road. And Merry Christmas to all. Okay, yes. everybody, thank you so much for watching. This show has been sponsored by Seacoast RV on Route 1 in Saco, Maine. They've got something for every RVer, whether it be service, whether it be RVs, whether it be park models, whether it be parts, or just some fun stuff in the store. Seacoast RVs, tell them Bob and John sent you. There you go. This edition of RVing in New England was a presentation of the New England RV Dealers Association. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.